Hey everybody, it's the Booty Queen here with the moment you've all been waiting for. 30, 40, 60, or 80K for ultrasonic cavitation, which is best? Now it seems that the industry cannot come to an agreement on which machine is better for the fat reduction process. So I thought I'd do this little video just to break it down and explain for those who are having a hard time understanding or for those who were never taught. All right, so let's bring it back. What do those Ks mean anyways? Well, to understand that, you have to understand how ultrasonic cavitation works. Ultrasonic cavitation uses sound waves to vibrate and destroy the fat cells. Now, how does that happen? Well, the K is actually a unit of measurement for these vibrations. We use kilowatts or hertz to measure how often these waves occur in sound frequencies. So when we're looking at a sound frequency, we have waves. The kilohertz are how often these waves are happening per second. So we've got a lower frequency here and a higher frequency with more waves or repetitions in that second. Now, speaking about ultrasonic cavitation, you would then draw the hypothesis that the lower frequency, low, uh, 30 to 40K, would be more spread apart where the higher frequencies, 60 to 80K, are closer together. Now, the initial understanding with that is when moving into the higher frequencies, you are vibrating the fat cell at a faster level. Um, this can then result in them distilling their contents and breaking down even faster, which hypothetically is true. However, it is also important to know that even though this frequency is moving faster, it can be easierly, is that a word? It's easily, thank you, it's easily deflected off of other tissues, okay? So think about this in a situation as like a car driving by. Typically, you're gonna hear the bass first before you hear the treble. The reason for that is because the bass is at a lower frequency and can travel deeper or penetrate deeper through walls, concrete, and etc. The treble at a higher frequency is deflected by the windows, concrete, cement, etc. And that's just the nature of these sound waves moving so closely together. So now what does this mean for ultrasonic cavitation? Well, we've got the layer of skin, we have connective fibers, we have fatty tissues, we have muscle. Now keep in mind that regardless of what level of ultrasonic cavitation you are using, it has been developed so that it is not penetrating any deeper than the muscular tissue. The sound that it makes, the tinnitus ringing in the ears, that's a whole nother video for another day. We're gonna focus on the depth of these frequency in the tissues. Now, in theory, we are correct. The higher frequencies moving faster are gonna be vibrating these fat cells at that high frequency. However, through its journey through the tissue, it has to go through the different layers of skin, right, and connective tissue to get to the fat, which is where you're then having the opportunity for some of those waves to be deflected. Now we move into the 30 to 40K. This has a longer range with deeper penetration. So although we're vibrating these fat cells at a lower speed, it is gonna be penetrating deeper into the tissue. So does this answer our question? Is 30 to 40K a better range? Or is the 60 to 80K a better range? Now the answer is quite simple. There is no conclusive evidence on either side that one is better than the other. So I have a number of machines that range from 30 to 80K. I use them on a broad range of clientele and they can all be effective in the treatment process. However, with the information you now know, you would want to adjust your treatment accordingly to the size of your client, which guess what? You should be doing anyways. If you have a higher frequency machine, 
there are levels that adjust the frequency. So if you have a numerical machine that goes from one to 15, guess what? 15 is gonna be 80K, one is gonna be a lower frequency. So getting back to the main issue with regards to penetration, we have clients all shapes and sizes. If you've got a client for medium build whose fat cell is not in a depth, right? We're not looking at a huge circumference of that fatty tissue. Using a faster vibration at a lower depth can be effective. Now, if you have a client who may be struggling with obesity or is heavier set and you have to get deeper into that fatty tissue, moving those levels down, getting closer towards the 30 to 40K repetitions will be effective for your client. Now, regardless of what frequency level you're using, it's important to note that if you are not administering the treatment properly, it will not be effective. There are ways in which these modalities should be used to increase the rate and the result for your clientele. Now, if your training wasn't sufficient, if you need more answers, holler at your girl.